Hello and welcome. You are listening to the Feng Shui Serenity podcast. I am your host, Grace New. Each month, I tune into the key themes that might be showing up for the collective, using Chinese astrology, five elements, as well as Feng Shui. And here, we talk about all things sacred, divine guidance, soulful living, creative expression, and finding the magic within. Hello, my friends. This is a very impromptu episode. I feel like to jump on here to share some simple yet profound reflections from the past week, as I was welcoming the newest student of my signature program, Wealth Alchemy, creating abundance and wealth through your inherent destiny chart. I was humbled with people open their heart to sharing their story and life journey with me. And I'm also encouraged and inspired to see all works of life coming through this container as they taking power into their own hands to change their destiny. And through this container, we've had people who are from very different backgrounds, different financial positions, as well as career and professions. We have corporate lawyers of twenty years. We have property development managers, project managers, financial planners, astrologers, healers. We have CEOs, managing directors, registered nurses. We have children's counselor inspired to be a writer. We have a successful real estate agent intend to transition her career into a feng shui consultant. We have a successful retired age engineer. Wanting to fully living his life abundantly, without disgust, no matter how much money he has in his bank account. We have people confess that they have been living in survival mode for a very long time, yet excited to discover their new gifts and talents and and gain new vision to their purpose. And we have people who are already experiencing financial comfort and stability. Yet they want to expand into the state of financial freedom. What these people are doing is to dive deep into their potentiality. Is to live their life to the fullest. You see, you don't need life to be in dire strait to receive an awakening. To receive a transformational relationship with money and wealth, and most importantly, you need an excuse, a problem, a life challenge, in order to build this most intimate relationship in this lifetime, and that is how you alchemize this relationship with yourself. How do you truly see yourself, and how you gently cultivate that gift? That uniqueness within you and expressing it, and this is not where we want to win award. We want to be the top of anything, but simply feeling alive. And as I was reflecting my own entrepreneur journey for the past six, seven years, from being an account director in a media agency to a feng shui consultant, a business owner, an entrepreneur. Building a business from ground up, experiencing exponential growth. What is the one thing that I can share with my newest students, or the one thing that collapses all things with you, my dear friend? And that is this: if you intend to fly higher, you first. Need to anchor deeper. It is this continuous act of expansion, growth, but at the same time, anchoring deeper, unravel yet another layer of understanding 
who we truly are, our uniqueness, our essence, the gifts that is only uniquely to us, neither above nor below others, unapologetically expressing who we truly are. And it is through this continuous act of understanding another layer of ourselves to release that shame, that guilt, that childhood trauma. We drop those sandbags. It is this energy dance and exchange between the yin and yang, continuous radiating, expanding, and then come home. Come home to the core. And it is this life force, this energy, to expand us to the limitless realms and carrying us beyond anything that we can imagine. Money-wise, wealth-wise, relationship, and everything else you desire in life. Just like I have let go again and again the perfectionist within me, The worry of comparing with others that I'm not good enough. The deep fear and doubt even at my most successful moment and wondering how can I ever repeat this again. It is continuous releasing that judgment and accept all part of us lovingly so that we feel lighter and we can fly higher. And if you are running your own business, This part of the practice becomes extra important because every day the decisions you're facing test your strength, your inner strength and the depth of how much you know who you are. If I didn't know my chart, the deep innate essence of being an in metal, I would have followed So many other strategies everyone sweared by. If you want to build a successful business, if you want to upscale your business in a more sustainable way, I would have constantly putting pressure on myself because comparing the next person, it seems so slow for me to produce anything. But I understand for an in metal, it's not about the speed. It's about the depth. So I take my time in my creative projects. I fully honor myself, my creative season, when I need to rest. I fully sink into my own timeline and anchoring deep in that. I would have forced myself to sing and dance in Instagram Rail in order to build my brand. But every time I come back to self, I come back to this core, to my chart, to realize my divine timing, to look into my 10-year luck pillar, to see what is the key theme for me to realize rather than following someone else's path. I know deeply that I need to use my voice Because the element in my chart. I know this 10 years, my wealth creation archetype is is visionary. And for all these insights, I see it in my four pillars of destiny chart. It is written in there. Because it teaches me everything that I need to know about myself. How to move. When to stop and reflect, when to radiating out, and when to come home. And I always know I have this place inside of me where I have everything already that I can come home to. And it is safe for me to come home. It is time for us to stop and listen truly to ourselves. And wealth alchemy is not so much about me teaching you. It is really about me showing you what your destiny chart is going to teach you. 
What is your soul going to teach you? So, Wealth Alchemy opens its last enrollment in 2022. And if you want to dive deep to reveal the truth about your money stories without judgment, to discover your wealth creation potential and capacity, your high value gifts, talent, and superpowers, not just what you're merely good at, your genetic wealth code, and your unique inherent wealth strategy. I'm inviting you deeper into this masterclass I'm holding on the 25th of August. You will receive some important transmission from your cosmic blueprint on wealth and investment priorities, such as what is your investment style? Is your energy designed to have multiple sources of income? Or you'd be better off to focus on one. Because how our energy move, distribute and expand are very different based on our personal element. Every one of us would have a golden decade. And this is the golden era where you create your wealth like never before. With ease, with the support of the universal energy. Each 10 years, each decade would have a key theme. What is your priority at the moment? Are you leaking your energy in the area where you're not supposed to be? How you can best manage your energy so that you can fly high? Are you exerting your energy unnecessarily in a wrong time? And when we look for a relationship, when we look for a partner, we look for energetic match. So how can you create and initiate that energetic match towards what you do, the way you create your wealth, the way you create your life and freedom for your family, for your children? And in this masterclass, it will be the first time I'm using I Ching divination to reveal the investment strategy and insight specifically for you. If this speaks to you, come and join us. There are a lot of people who already said yes. You can find the link for the masterclass under this podcast episode. Thank you for listening to Feng Shui Serenity Podcast. If you like this episode, make sure you subscribe or leave us a review. And I will see you next time.